Hi guys, so I've had a few people asking me about my soup maker. So I thought I'd do a little recipe. So I got some potatoes out the allotment, onion out the allotment and some leeks. Unfortunately, it's not my allotment that I got them out of at the moment. It's my dad's. Um, but nonetheless, it's all homegrown um, and nice and fresh. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to prep this first so basically we've got potatoes leek onion stock cubes you can add a little bit of cream in if you like to um i used to add cream in but i'm on a bit of a diet at the minute so i'm not putting cream in this one but i'll put all of the ingredients and stuff in the li in the description you don't have to use cream you can if you want it works perfectly without so i'll get prepping the veg and then I'll show you the soup maker. welcome back as you can see I've prepped the veg coming out the allotment there is a bit of muck on and stuff so I've briefly washed them so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna chop the potato and the leek put it in this colander give it another rinse just to make sure that any dirt um, is off the onion I don't need to do that with I can just chop that up that's fine um, but yeah so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna chop these first and give them a rinse I said the things you want me to Might lead to someone else but you So guys, there we have it We've got our leek, potato and onion in there, all cleaned, all washed and ready to go in the soup maker. The only additional thing I've got is a couple of stock cubes. So guys, here we have it. It's the Morphe Richards soup and smoothie machine. I've had this for a couple of years now. Use it on a regular basis. It's so easy, um, just absolutely great. A lot of people say... You know, I've got a pan to make soup in, but seriously, this is just super easy. The hardest part is prepping the veg, which you've just seen me do. So this is basically it. It just works like a big kettle, to be honest. You've got different modes on here on the top. Um, I'll show you it plugged in in a second. But when you press your mode, you've got your smooth, which is a smooth. Um, it blitzes a smooth soup. Chunky, that'll just leave it as you've cut your pieces up. You've got drinks, so you can do smoothies and stuff, and you've got an option to blend. So, with things like carrot and coriander soup, for example, I go for the smooth option. But with the leek and potato, I don't like it really chunky, but I don't like it all blitzed up. So what I do, I use the chunky mode, and then I just blend it a little tiny bit um, to, the kiss, to the consistency that I like, basically. So, yeah, so this is it. It's just like a kettle. It's got a, a a blade and what have you on there. You just literally put that on, um, select which setting you want, and press start. Basically, press go. Um, so yeah, I'll run it through and I'll show you. One thing I will point out as well is there is a minimum and a maximum line and this is not only for the water but also for the, your veg so if you've put too much in just take some out um, and like I say the same with the water that's what that's there for it's a gauge for your vegetables um, and the water to go in as well. 
So here we have it. I need to add some salt and pepper in as well. But what I'm going to show you is when you put it in the blade, you might have to jiggle it about a little bit just to sort of put it down. It's all got to be flush. Obviously not the spout bit there because that's where the steam comes out. But it's all got to be flush around the side and around the back and everything if you've got too much vegetables in and it's sort of up even ever so slightly it just it's got a safety mode on and it just won't won't work so i'm just going to show you so it's all plugged in now once you hear the beep that means it's securely on i'm not sure if you can see but these settings here are flashing um so what we're going to do we're going to push mode and that's flashing on smooth that's flashing on chunky drinks or blend. So I said I like my chunky, but not too chunky. I'm going to blend it after. So I'm going to select that and just select on. And then you can see that that there is now starting to work. So that's 28 minutes on chunky, um, on the chunky version. I think the smooth is 17 possibly. 17 18 minutes or so so literally just leave that as is and it'll just do everything for you and then i'll come back in a bit once it's done um and i'll show you how we manually blend it so this is what it looks like you can see the steam coming out of the spout or at least i hope you can um 11 minutes to go so we're on the last minute and that's it done finished so what you've got to be careful of as well is this part here, all of the steam and stuff and obviously the steam inside of this. It will continue to beep until you lift this lid off. But I'm just going to show you, watch the steam and watch you don't get burned basically. So open that up and that's your chunky soup inside. Now obviously that's chunky so it depends on how big you've cut your stuff. So because, because I blitz it anyway, I don't mind um, how big the chunks are. So, obviously if you're leaving it chunky, that's how big the bits are going to be. So just bear that in mind. So I'm not sure if you can see it flashing here again. So we're not going to do it smooth. We don't want it chunky. It's not a drink. We want to manually blend it. And you've got to hold your finger on there. <laughs> And then it'll stop when you want it to and that's a bit better consistency for me so it's still lumpy but not as chunky <laughs> so there you go that's it and um, all I do from here is I put it in a Pyrex dish and then I wash this out straight away so I'll show you so there you have it I'll just put it in here this is all literally washed out in two seconds Um doesn't take long at all and this is the leek and potato soup and the machine there has made 1.6 litres I do believe you can get a litre version as well for if you don't want as much but um but yeah that's perfect I'm gonna add a little bit more um salt and pepper um maybe not salt but I'll, I'll add a little bit of pepper in there and that's it done so there you go thanks for watching